maintenance on autopilot. No staff to manage, no leads to chase, no time wasted on prospects who never buy. Who to show to your grandparents, ain't no way that they're telling that that's AI. Welcome my friends to the best Arcads AI tutorial that there is on YouTube, but not only the best Arcads AI tutorial, I believe this is also the best AI UGC video creation tutorial that there is on YouTube as well. And the reason why that is, is because I'm going to be going through a particular structure within this video. So first, I'm going to kind of start off by, you know, walking you guys through each of the different features that you can find within Arcads. But not only that, I'm also going to be showing you guys examples that correspond with those features. So you guys can literally get step-by-step -step tutorials on how to do everything, and you can kind of apply the information yourself to do whatever it is you want to do with these AI UGC videos. And then after that, I'll also be showing you guys how the videos kind of come out with some basic editing. And when I say that, I just mean like basic captions and a hook. And then after that, I'll also be showing you guys how it looks with a little bit more extreme editing, or not extreme, but just a little bit more professional editing. So you guys can kind of get the three different stages of just the raw footage, some basic editing, and then also some decent editing. And you can kind of decide where you want to go from there. I will say that because these are UGC videos, a lot of the time, it's probably better to not over complicate the video and not over edit them because the whole point of UGC videos is that they're meant to be kind of relatable so that it's like a real human talking to you rather than some business marketer with a tuxedo trying to sell you his product. So just keep that in mind. And then lastly, guys, to finish off the video, I'm going to be kind of going through a few pro tips that you guys can kind of use just to make sure that you're getting the most out of Arcads and you're not wasting any credits because I will say right now, I'll go ahead and say it, it's definitely not cheap, okay? I'm from Australia and in order to get 10 videos, it does cost $170, right? I think there's probably like $100 in US or something around that so it's definitely not cheap but I do believe that it's worth the quality otherwise I wouldn't be using it as you can see right here now real quick if you guys remember a couple weeks ago I made a video basically detailing the entire process on how to make AI websites for clients but the first step in that process was obviously being able to get clients right so as you guys can see right here I have the client outreach section and one of the ways that you can attract clients is to do paid ads via AI UDC now what I didn't explain at the time is that the, this photo right here this image that you guys can literally see from that video was from a video uh, that used Arcad's AI, right? And I want to kind of elaborate on this as well by saying it doesn't strictly have to be paid ads. You guys can also just do organic uploads. It could be like TikTok or Instagram or even YouTube, what I'm doing right now. So I want to make that clear. This is literally one of the methods that I talked about in order to be able to get your first client. And obviously, guys, if you want to see this video, then it'll be somewhere on my channel. I'm not going to link it. I'm probably too lazy to do it. But anyway, let's get into the actual video. So the first thing that I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to explain some of the features here. All right. So as you guys can see, we're already within the Arcad's AI interface, and I'm not going to go ahead and explain you guys how to create an account and sign up and all that because I mean it's pretty self-explanatory let's get right into the actual features of Arcads so the first thing and probably the most important to all of you guys is going to be the text-to-speech section and this is literally what all these videos that you see right here were created with now I want to show you guys kind of like the actors first because there's such a different catalog and so many different diverse characteristics that you can go for and I think they do a really good job of helping you be able to filter out the AI actors based on whatever you're trying to achieve so for example if you're trying to sell like an elderly person for whatever product that might be you can scroll down here and you can see that it says senior you can simply filter it out by seniors and then all the elderly people show up and vice versa maybe you're trying to sell to a kid i don't know then you can literally select the kid i don't don't ask me why that dog showed up but yeah it goes the same with young adults it goes the same with actual regular adults you kind of get the point here. and you can do that with a bunch of different stuff you can do with the situation that they're in maybe they're at an airport there's even a toggle setting for asmr gaming a bunch of different stuff. The point that I'm trying to make guys is that it's very, very customizable. So you don't have to worry about scrolling because if you just have to scroll through and pick it manually, just based on what you see, I'm just scrolling a bit here and showing you guys some examples. It goes on for quite a while. So with that being said, the best thing you can probably do is just try and understand your customer profile and then go based off that in order to filter them out and then select whoever it is that you kind of want to represent your brand. And then the good thing as well, while you're kind of in this selection process, like let's just say we're looking for a male adult. If you actually kind of want to get like an example of what they sound like, you can see this guy's in my favorites right here. I've actually used him for some videos. You can literally just hover over them Natural AI and then he'll start yapping and you can hey, kind you of get an idea for whether or not hey, they'll be the type of actor that you're looking for. So that is kind of feature number one. Now, next up, we've got pretty self-explanatory feature. It's called the text-to-speech feature. So this is literally, if I were to just type, hello, my name is is Jeff and then we'll go in and we'll add an actor we'll just add this guy I guess simplest one and then all you guys have to do just click this cogwheel right here and you'll, it'll come up with a bunch of different settings now before I go into these settings I want to show you guys what the default sound will sound like so it's finished loading here and I literally just realized I should probably put some earphones in so I can actually hear what it sounds like all right let's hear it Charles hello my name is Jeff 
Hello, my name is Jeff. 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 Hello, my name. I don't know why I listened to it for that long, but yeah, you guys, you guys kind of get the point there. So the main point is that you guys can literally hear what it sounds like. Obviously, you can't see the whole video, but you guys can get a really, really good understanding for how your AI actor is going to sound after you've typed in all the text and you've finished your script and everything like that. And then you go through and you kind of test: does it sound good? Does it sound what I want it to sound like? If it doesn't, then all you guys have to do is literally click on the AI actor and then just. Let me deselect him and let's say we want to select this guy. And then let's do the exact same thing. We'll load him up. Give me two seconds. It'll obviously probably take like 10, 15 seconds. Again, guys, the longer your script is, the longer that it's going to take to go through the process of making the sample clip. But yeah, so now Thomas has loaded. Let's go ahead and see what he Hello. sounds like. My name is Jeff. Hello, my name is Jeff. This guy sounds depressed, I ain't gonna lie. So in this case, obviously I'd much prefer the first guy and you kind of go through that process of your strategy that I would advise you guys to do is just go through all of the ones that you think sound the best, which is what I've done right here. And then you just go through and do the exact same process I just showed you guys, select the actor, click the cogwheel, and then just listen to what they sound like, filter it out by whatever you think is best and then go ahead and generate that. All right, so that is the text-to-speech option. That's the option that pretty much 95% of you guys are probably going to be using, but there is also another option and the other option is speech to speech. This will only be useful if you guys have something that for whatever reason, you really want the AI actor to be able to pronounce in the way that you're kind of pronouncing it, okay? So maybe there's specific emphasis on a certain word, or maybe it's a made up word, maybe your company name that the AI actor isn't being able to pronounce correctly. So that's when you would come in and you'd say the exact pronunciation, the exact enunciation that you want the AI actor to use. That's when speech to speech would be recommended for you. So let me give you guys a quick example right here. Let me just click record a new one so I can show you guys what it sounds like. I'm going to click start recording and I'm just going to say subscribe to Jarell AI and join our free community immediately. I'm not going to ask you again. Join it now. All right. Then we just click add audio and then it'll do the exact same thing. Transcribe the video. You'll probably have to wait like 10, 15 seconds depending on how long the audio clip is. Okay. We're already done. So transcribe it right here. So subscribe to Jarell AI and join our free community immediately. I'm not going to ask you again. Join it now. All right. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now let's see what it sounds like. So, That's just me. Um, Subscribe to Jarell. Okay, whatever the fuck. Now, let me just add an AI actor. We'll add the same guy just so you guys can hear. Now, his intonation, his pronunciation, his kind of mannerisms are going to be the exact same as mine. The only difference is it's going to be using the AI actor voice, right? So let me show you guys here. Let me click the cogwheel. Let me click the generate button. It's going to take a second here again to do the exact same thing. All right, so it's finished generating. Let's hear how it sounds. And keep in mind, guys, I've never used it for any projects or anything. Like I said, there's a very nuanced situation where you would be using it. So let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. So, um, subscribe to Jarell AI and join our free community immediately. I'm not going to ask you again. Join it now. All right. Oh. Yeah, so as you guys can hear, it's literally the exact same intonation that I used. The only difference is using Charles' voice. You can kind of hear it mixed with my voice as well, so it's really, really trippy to hear. But anyway, that's the two main options that you guys are going to be using. It's text-to-speech and speech-to-speech, but most of the time, guys, just use text-to-speech. It's the easiest one, especially if there's no special words that you need the AI to pronounce in a specific way. So the next thing we're going to be showing you guys is these little settings right here. And before I do that, I'm also going to show you guys this voiceover setting. So what this voiceover setting allows you to do is select the voice voiceover voice voiceover voice yeah i mean that makes sense of the person who's going to be voicing the ai actor right so you can kind of filter it by their age you can filter it by the language you can filter it by their accent but let me just click australian because i'm australian the best australian one by far is matthew so let me just click him and then let me show you guys it'll generate here now obviously sometimes the voice doesn't necessarily match the ai actor so you want to make sure that you're selecting something that actually is congruent with how they look so let me show you guys what the australian version of charles sounds like my name jeff 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 actually really sounds australian so that one's pretty good but for the most part guys for whatever reason a lot of the voices in here are horrific renders okay so pretty much for the most part i'd advise you guys to just stick with whatever the default voice is like let me just go back to the australian accent there were some horrible ones in here i remember let's see hey there welcome to that's horrible hey there that's horrible Candy. that's unbelievably horrible hey there well that should not exist either hey there welcome to our cat i mean it's better but it's still pretty bad hey there welcome to that's a bit like creepy hey there welcome to not too bad hey there, welcome to our cat that's pretty good actually 
Hey there, welcome. Horrendous, okay? So really out of this whole list, there was only two ones. I think it was Matthew and Noah that were really usable. So you guys kind of understand, it might be like a 10, 15% hit rate in those voice lists of actual voiceovers that sound good. So keep that in mind for the most part, I'd recommend just going with the default one. You're never going to get too bad of an outcome when you use those. All right, now for these little settings, okay? So I'm just going to tell you guys exactly what to use. If you want to wait till the end of the video, I'll explain why we're using these settings. But for now, literally just listen to me. Trust me, I've already tested everything you could possibly test, okay? So for speed, you're always going to want to do something between 1 and 1.15. For the most part, I either do exclusively 1.1 or 1.15, just because of the fact that AI is more recognizable as AI when you kind of slow it down. So you want to avoid that by making it a little bit faster than what it would regularly be. So 1.1, 1.15, that's what I'd recommend. Stability, keep default. Similarity, keep default. Style exaggeration, trust me, keep it on zero because the second you turn it up, it just starts tripping out. It's really finicky. Maybe later they'll fix it whatever but for now i'm just going to rapid fire that literally just listen to everything that i just said and you'll be fine so we've gone through the list of our actors we've gone through the voiceovers we've gone through the audio settings we've gone through text to speech we've gone through speech to speech now let's actually talk about the talking actors versus the gestures okay talking actors is the same thing that i've been showing you guys this entire time it's really what most of you guys will be using but there's actually something cool that literally just got added maybe like a week ago and i'm going to elaborate on this in a second here so if you guys click on talking actors you can select gestures okay and as you can see when I hover over it, it says five second video, no audio. And all this is, is that at the start, I mean, really it'd only be used for the start of your video if you want to include a hook, right? So say for example, I mean, it's got an example right here, make the actor celebrate, but you could literally say something like make him do a front flip. So the guy in the clip does a front flip, you attach that to the front of your video and that's kind of like your hook for whatever reason, it just gets people to stop scrolling and then you start doing whatever product you're trying to sell or ad you're trying to make, whatever. So it's a really good use case if you're trying to make a hook that kind of stops people from scrolling, but that's pretty much all it's really good for unless there's something specific that's happening like you want them to cry halfway through or something like that, then you can actually get them to do it in a pretty, pretty realistic way. And in saying that, let me show you guys some examples right now because I haven't actually made any of this myself but that's why I went on over to their Twitter. But you can see right now I'm recording this on the 2nd of May. So on the 17th of April, they released gestures. And let me show you guys this video, okay? So this is all gesture control. AI is shocked, crying, celebrates. So you can literally prompt the AI actor to do whatever gesture it is that you want them to do. And there's a better one down here that I've seen. Look at this, by the way. This is an example of my look as an edited one. And really one of the best use cases guys is for you to use the AI UGC actor. It's kind of like a little put him off to the side or put her off to the side and then have the green screen effect so that you can cover the background, whatever footage you want to cover. And that's exactly what they've done here. Change your life and start your own business. This is the site for you. No one's telling that that's AI. So especially if you have like a digital product that you're trying to sell or something like that, be extremely useful. What I wanted to show you guys is this guy. So this guy is building archives. I think he's the CEO or something. I don't know. I don't really care. So this is an example that he uploaded. I think people don't understand how powerful this is for hooks. And he's referring to the gesture control that we were just talking about. So this is literally what he would have typed is something like make him do a backflip. And then he does a backflip. Bang. Now, obviously it's not perfect, right? He has a little bit of anti-gravity. Maybe he's on the moon, but he does the backflip, gets people to stop scrolling. And then he says, hey guys, come check out this new product that I have. Like that's pretty much the use case that they're trying to go for right here. And it's probably the most effective use case for the gesture control. And then down beneath that as well, we've got a few more examples. I guess this is the AI is shocked. Points at the top of the screen. Maybe she's saying there's a button to click here, stuff like that. AI is shocked again. AI laughs. So you guys kind of get the point here. It's very, very simple, but it's actually extremely effective, especially if you guys need some good hooks. All right, so I've explained all of the main features. Now it's time for me to show you guys some actual examples that I've literally made myself in real time. So let me click on this one, for example. And as you guys can see right here, you've got all of the different details that I use. So it was text to speech model, obviously. The actor was Charles, like we've been using this whole time. And then here's the script on the right hand side, okay? So all I'm going to do, I'm going to shut up here and I'm going to let this play for you guys. I'm literally going to let it play out fully if you guys don't want to hear it then just skip through but I, I want you guys to understand start to finish how it's going to sound from an example that i literally made myself urgent notice for solar business owners while you're watching this your competitors are rapidly adopting ai technology according to mckinsey companies that fully integrate ai are seeing 40 percent higher profit margins than industry peers let me be blunt your current lead generation is becoming obsolete 
Smart solar companies are plugging in a little bit of an audio glitch right there access system that delivers pre-qualified appointments on autopilot. No staff to manage, no leads to chase, no time wasted on prospects who never buy. The entire pipeline from targeted AI advertising to immediate follow up to appointment setting directly into your calendar runs without your involvement. This proprietary system is generating an additional thirty to one hundred thousand dollars monthly for solar businesses who get in early. But fair warning, we're only accepting five clients per month. Click the learn more button for your no obligation strategy session and to literally double your revenue while having your effort. So as you guys can see right there, I mean, obviously there's some slight issues with the lip syncing. There's some slight issues. There was, a, there was a little audio tweak that happened. But apart from that, guys, if you were to show this to your mom, if you were to show it to your grandparents, ain't no way that they're telling that that's AI. So that was the raw footage, okay? Now let me show you guys an example with some very, very basic editing. Obviously, I'm not going to play the whole thing through because it's pretty much the exact same thing that I just showed you guys. But give me one sec, let me show you. All right, so here is the example with some basic editing. Keep in mind, guys, all I literally did was add a hook and some you know active caption so i'm just going to let it play for a little bit urgent notice for solar business owners while you're watching this your competitors are rapidly adopting ai technology according to mckinsey and Company, it's insane how you can hear the ai like, like breathe it's really trippy higher profit margins than industry peers let me be blunt your current lead generation is becoming obsolete smart solar companies are plugging into our revolutionary ai access system that delivers okay i'm going to stop it there because you guys kind of get the point i already played it once before now right. i've shown you guys two examples i've shown you the raw footage i've shown you some basic editing editing this is the exact same thing but now this is with a more edited kind of what you guys are probably used to when you're just scrolling your tiktok feeds this is an example of that so urgent notice for solar business owners while you're watching this your competitors are Damn, rapidly loud. adopting ai technology According to McKinsey and Company, businesses that fully integrate AI are seeing 40% higher profit margins than industry peers. Let me be blunt, your current lead generation is becoming obsolete. Smart solar companies are plugging into our revolutionary AI access system that delivers pre-qualified appointments on autopilot. No staff to manage, no leads to chase, no time wasted on prospects who never bought. Yeah, I'm, I'm had enough of it, but you guys kind of understand the point, okay? So that's kind of how it would look across raw footage, basic editing, and also a little bit more professional editing. So you guys kind of get the understanding of how it turns out. I know you guys are probably wondering what this dog one sounds like. So let me, I'll play it for you here. Here's the dog one. Go pearl on the mic. Give it a second to load. Urgent notice for solar business owners. While you're watching this, your competitors <laughs> are rapidly adopting AI technology. All right, I think that's enough of that. But that's pretty much all the examples, guys. Now what I'm going to get into is some pro tips for you guys. All right, so number one pro tip, and I already kind of touched on this, make sure that when you're selecting whoever it is that you're using for your project, go through and you favorite whoever you think has potential to be used in the future. Because trust me, the last thing that you want to do is have to scroll through every single time from top to bottom trying to find someone who is congruent with whatever message you're trying to portray right so just go through one time it's easier just favorite whoever you think has potential and then once you've done that you have a whole catalog of people who you know already passed your vibe check one time already so you know that they're suitable candidates for your project so that is pro tip number one now pro tip number two is going to be don't make the mistake of just generating and thinking that you have to generate in order to hear what they sound like because you'd literally just be wasting money a lot of the time it's not going to hit the exact number notes or hit the exact tone that you want it to sound like so just make sure that you're always taking advantage of the fact that you can play it in the little preview My sound <laughs> yeah always take advantage of the fact that you can mess around with settings you can increase the speed this and change the stability but listen guys just keep the settings that i told you to keep trust me it's going to save you a lot of time i've already tested with everything that you could possibly want to test so i'm saving you guys that time because i've done the testing myself the only thing that you guys could really try if you wanted to is to try and look for another voice actor here but again for the most part it probably has like a 10 percent hit rate of voices that actually make sense and just to elaborate on that last point as well with the audio settings let me just show you guys so you understand i literally Literally asked customer support it's obviously an AI agent but I said what are generally the best audio settings to use and it literally just tells you straight up stability set this to balance consistency yes I literally just put on 50% similarity adjust this to control how closely just keep it with what I said speaker boosts enhances and then pace of speech this is going to be the main one now it says 0.85 to 1.15 like I said guys at the start you always want it to be a little bit faster because it's harder to detect that it's AI if they're speaking just a little bit faster than usual all right so that's pretty much it guys if you guys do have have any more questions we do have a free community it's almost at 500 people now which is pretty sick i'll leave a link down below if you do end up joining then we have a section here under the learn tab which has all our free guides and pdfs and prompts and everything like that so if you have any really anything that you want to make maybe it could be prompts or you know grok or you know what you want to create ai music there's tons of stuff and every single video every single update that i make i'm adding to this list so in a year who knows this is going to be a whole archive a whole library i imagine i might not keep it free forever so just keep that in mind guys join the community if you want that's pretty much it thanks for watching bye